right, so let's finish this uh, week off with a little bit of an all over body pump as well. Um, it's going to be a lot of hands overhead stuff here today. So we're going to have our two dumbbells, right? But we're going to do a single dumbbell uh, standing Arnold presses. So we're here, right? So I like to think my fist, my looking at my fingernails, and then turning that hand out at the top. Okay, so turning it over. Okay, do 10 on the one arm. And the same thing there, 10 on the other arm. Once we're done, we're gonna grab our single dumbbell. We're gonna lock that up by our ear and we're gonna do 10 step back lunges, okay? So I'm just gonna go back on one leg like this, okay? 10 step back lunges. Once we're done, we're gonna switch sides and it's 10 on the other, okay? If you need to alternate those steps, completely fine, no problem at all. Biggest thing there, you wanna get that arm locked by your ear. That's gonna give you greater, put you in a stronger position. It's gonna be a lot safer on the shoulders um, and it's gonna do, you're gonna need a lot more of your core to keep that weight up there, okay? So after that, we're gonna move into bird dogs. So it'll be 10 bird dogs per side. So with our bird dogs, I've got my hands underneath my shoulders. I'm looking ahead, but I'm sending my right arm forward. I'm sending my left foot back, right? And just going nice and slow and controlled. Biggest thing here, keep those hips level. We don't wanna be twisting, right? We're not looking to twist those. It's flat back in control. If you want to, you can grab a really light weight and hang and go forward to that and we're just going to engage those shoulders a bit more and get a bit more into that core. Okay? So that's our accessory three rounds. Now I have a special challenge for you. This is a, is a test and we're going to repeat this one at the end of the month. So we're going to do 20 Turkish get-ups for time. You're going to pick a weight. I'm thinking 10 pounds plus. If you really can't go with a weight, no problem. Uh, we're going to do 10 Turkish get-ups for time. You can do two or three on one arm before you switch. That, the biggest thing is, is you have to divide the reps equally. So, Turkish get-up. Laying flat on the ground. If we've got our weight up in the air, we've got our right arm up, that means our right knee is up. The same arm and knee are up at the same time, okay? When we're coming up, I'm using my elbow, transitioning to my elbow, and then pushing up to my arm, right? Using my whole body to make that transition and help me sit that up. You can see I've got that dumbbell close to my ear and I'm gonna stare at that dumbbell looking nice and tall, sweeping that left leg underneath my right leg, okay? And you can see how I'm stacked here now. I've got that dumbbell over top of my other arm. Looking up, still looking at that dumbbell, standing it up, okay? Again, keep that dumbbell locked close to your ear, much safer position for your shoulder. We're coming down. Just exactly in reverse, here, down, and that's your Turkish get up. And if we're switching to our left side, it's the exact same thing, only difference is left arm up, left knee up. Okay, so that's your Turkish get ups. If you want to practice a rep or two without a weight before you start the timer, that's completely cool. Uh, and just use your arm, okay? Now, if you don't have your Turkish get-ups, that's no problem. What we can do is we can do half Turkish get-ups. So we're here, right? Got that dumbbell overhead. We're still sitting it up, right? And then we're just lifting those hips and then we're bringing those hips back down. And that is our half Turkish get-up, okay? So typically, where the hardest part of the Turkish get up, believe it or not, is that sit up without weight and getting yourself transitioned to get to there. Once you're to there, 
If you can keep that arm locked, I'll guarantee you, you can get that leg swept underneath and go pop, okay? So that's our challenge for the month of November. 20 Turkish get-ups per time. If you pick your weight now, that's gonna be your weight at the end of the month, and we're gonna see if we can keep building that core strength and we can get, make that a uh, little bit more comfortable movement for us. Good luck.